It costs nothing to play, but I got something to say. Time for non and I. For this non and I, we're checking out Spirit Parade by Lettuce Waltz. It's on itch.io. Not sure if they're trying to release anywhere else, but uh, yeah, I, from the screenshots, it looked like a visual novel, and I kind of like the character designs, a little more elaborate than I expected, which is good. So uh, take a spin. Well, uh, yeah, let's go for an explanation real quick. Hello there, ready to embark on a journey? Left click your mouse or press enter on the spacebar or your keyboard to read more text. Okay. Good job. If you see a blinking red knot icon, that means you can continue on. If you missed something or just want to reread some older text, you can just use your mouse scroll wheel or the page up, page down keys to roll back or forward. I like the, the, the scroll wheel idea. I don't know if it's a common thing. I think it's done in Ren P, and I don't know if it's a thing for that. Ren Pi? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, this is pretty handy if you accidentally clicked the wrong choice and want to quickly go back. Ah, oh, so you can uh, undo your horrible mistakes. Hayato will remember that. Of course, you can also qu click the history button or press the T key to bring up the text history if you don't want to roll back. Once the text history screen is open, you can also press T or escape to close out of that screen. This applies to all of the game screens, by the way. I'll let the white independence here explain a few more things. That is not my name. It's close enough. It's really not. Okay, okay, just get on with it. Very well. If you right click with your mouse, the in game menu will show up on the left. If you right click again to hide it. From there, you get the save loader, get another radio. Ah, cool. And it works in the tutorial. In game hotkeys. Yeah, why not? Hitting escape. Well, in game will cause the save screen to show up. Because we're pressing the S key. Good. Pressing the L key will bring up the load menu. Pressing F toggles full screen mode, and pressing O or P brings up the options menu. Okay. Tab will toggle text skipping, but you can also hold down control to skip text. Pressing A will toggle text auto forward. Pressing F will take you back to the main menu title screen. Press Q to quick save and W to quick load. Quick save and quick load are for, well, quicker saving and loading while playing the game. Oops. There's your scroll rail right there, it works. Oh, don't forget to... David, forget the status button. It's on the far right next to the skip button. Now that you kn know what we all think of you. Or check your soul virtual alignment if you're on one of the underworld routes. No thanks. It's not for you, Hayato. Hmm. Anyway, are we missing anything? Oh, uh, I've just remembered. If you press Shift S, we'll take a screenshot of the game and save it to the game folder. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, that's useful. You can put my handsome face all over social media. I'll print it out and put it on your wall. Mm. What's with that reaction? In any case, you can view more information about game mechanics in the readme.txt file, which I... You can also pull up by clicking the help button. Okay. Now it's time for you to get back into the game. Uh... Yeah, we're just gonna... Leave it as nada. Yeah, that's fine. Legend has it that running parallel to our world is another where more ghosts than yokai. Well, well, well. So, while you, we humans toil and spend our days carelessly here, in the spirit world they're doing the same. You often hear stories of Oni and dragons appearing here. That's the stuff of myths and fairy tales. But for the most part, it seems they keep to themselves and their own kind. Our worlds are close together, but ultimately separate. Only once a year, for the seventh month in the lunar solar calendar, our two worlds supposedly open up to each other. In the spirit world, they have a special spirit parade where a procession of beautiful yokai passes through. We have a title! Here, that's where we hold festivals and celebrations to honor the spirits. Who knows wh when you might be passing by a tanuki in disguise while on your way to buy steam buns. It's a very romantic and spiritual time of the year. Time for reflection and spending time with the people you love. Reflection and spending time with the people you love. What a bunch of crap. That's just what merchants say to get people them to get them to buy their spirit festival memorabilia. It's so dishonest, as if a Tanuki would come to this stupid festival. Yokai are supposed to live much longer than humans do. If I am bored with the spirit festival, they're probably even worse off. Here in town, the festival lasts about a week, but in the spirit world, it supposedly goes on for a whole month. 
Ugh, I can't imagine being in the middle of a noisy crowd for that long. What am I thinking? Yokai aren't even real. How do I care they... What do I care that they feel anyway? Earlier, my family invited me to go to the festival with them, but I said no. Of course I said no. The festival's lame, basically exploitation. But still, I'm pretty. it's pretty boring at home by myself. I've already read all the books I bought last month. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to go to the festival and take a peek. Just to look at what books they have on sale, of course. I look over from at my wheelchair and sigh before hoisting myself up, to it, up onto it from my bed. Ah, that's a twist I wasn't expecting. Oh, right click, sorry. It's been 10 years since I started using this wheelchair. By now, I should be used to it, and I am. I'm great, really, I'm grateful that I can get around at all, and nobody has to help me into or out of it. Flashbacks. More than that, I hate how it makes other people look at me. Well, I better get going. Jeez, it's even more crowded than usual. Don't people have anything better to do? Though I suppose that includes me, too. The noise and atmosphere are already making me dizzy. I'd better hurry to the book vendors before I run out of energy. I'm gonna run into my family. They'll wonder why I'm here after I already told them I didn't want to go. It's easy for them if I'm not around anyway. They get too conscious of me, always wondering if I'm comfortable and trying their hardest not to offend me. I wish they'd stop doing that. No matter how many times I tell them over the years, they won't listen. The lanterns are pretty tonight, at least. I never get tired of looking at them. It's hard to stay in a bad mood here. Oh, I see some stalls with books over there. Great, then tonight might, be, might not be a total loss. Hmm? What was that? I felt... I thought I felt something like a chill. Must be my imagination. Glowy stuff! Why am I naked? What? Where'd the book cells go? What are those things floating around? Dust balls? On fire? Ah! I suddenly go tumbling to the ground. Did somebody push me out of my wheelchair? When I look around, I, however, I realize it's much worse than that. What? Why am I naked? Where did my wheelchair go? I try to cover myself, but my voice quickly attracts unwanted attention. Human, it's a human. Human meat, I haven't had me in so long. Crab dude! I am down with crab dude. I'm also down with a bull in a dress. And slime? Okay. These disgusting looking things approach me all of a sudden. One of them looks like a giant crab, another seems to be a man with a bull's head, and the last is just a big blob. No way! Are these yokai? I, I can't walk. What am I going to do? I squeeze my eyes shut. I'm sure of what else I can do. Okay, wait. Calm down. This is just a dream. This has to be a dream. Yokai aren't real. I probably just fainted and now I'm a stupid nightmare. That's it. When I wake up, I'm never going to that stupid festival ever again. But the same horrifying scene awaits me when I open my eyes. I respect that people should be allowed to wear what they want, but the bullman's outfit leaves absolutely nothing to the imagination. Don't move if you flare around too much, it'll just hurt more when we kill you. I get her head. Humans don't have much brains in those cavernous heads of theirs, but that's where the, the, what's there is delicious. You're right. Hey. What is it? Don't interfere. Boss! Who's the boss? What do you what do you idiots think you're doing harassing a young girl like this? Didn't your mothers teach you any manners? But boy, she's human. Huh? Huh. A human? Who cares? You better scram. My voices are all blended together. Great. But uh, humans are yelling easy, boss. Yeah, I completely agree. Boss? Did you not hear the first time, you little shits? You better get out of our sight if you want to live. So the three monsters quickly disperse. I don't really understand, but it looks like these two girls are pretty powerful. Maybe they're well-known around here? Those ears and tails. Foxes. Kitsune. So they're yokai, too. 
Still, they help me out, so I should show, show some gratitude. Uh, thanks for saving me. Hmm? Oh, it's no problem. Still, what's a human doing here? Here? You're in the spirit world. Don't tell me you didn't notice. I kind of had an inkling when the giant crab thing showed up. A human with a sense of humor. I like it. So, how long are you planning on crawling around naked in the dust? Let's go already, human. Huh? Go where? Let's get you some clothes, of course. You're not going to eat me, are you? This is some elaborate trap to get me into your clutches instead? I know, I know. Look here, girly. If we wanted to eat you, we would have already done it. We're not the beat around the bush, to my sister and me. Besides, we don't have a taste for human flesh. We much prefer fish. Got it? Hmm, that sounds like the sort of thing a man-eating fox monster would say in order to get me to let down my guard. Tough words from someone who's naked on the ground at our mercy. Being careful is good, but being stupid isn't so much. You'd better learn the difference. You have a point. Oops. Where are my ma- Oops, where are my manners? This is I'm Sakuya. This is my sister, Asuka. She doesn't talk much to people other than me. Don't take it personally, alright? I might as well play nice. I don't really trust them, but being combative will get me nowhere. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you both. I'm Nara. Nara, huh? Interesting name. Somehow the two of them look familiar to me when, when they smile like that. Maybe there's a kid in town, in town who resembles them? It's not as if I know any yokai. Well, Nada, let's get going, shall we? There's a stall nearby that sells nice clothes, and my sister and I will shield you until we get there. I, I'd love to, but I, I can't walk. What, because of nerves or something? Don't be silly, you're fine. No, really, you don't get it, I can't. Before I can explain my condition, Sekiyu leans over, grabs my hand, and effortlessly pulls me to my feet. I feel my legs wobble, and I brace myself for impact as I expect to fall over immediately, but... I... I can stand up! Well, of course you can. Even if you were scared earlier, your nerves should have eased up by now. That's not what I mean. Normally, I, I can't walk at all. I can't even stand up. I usually get places by going around in a wheelchair. Uh, a wheelchair? Is that like a sedan chair? Not exactly. I, I, I don't really get it, but... Basically, you're saying your legs were injured, right? It'd be too much... It'd be way too much trouble trying to explain polio to a yokai, so I guess I'll go along with this. You could say that. Did you forget you're in the spirit world? Things are different here. Does this normally happen to humans that come here? No idea. You're the first human I've ever seen here. But being able to, able to walk's a good thing, right? Don't worry so much. Let's go already. Okay. Even so, my legs are pretty weak. I haven't really used them in ten years, after all. It's a miracle I can even support my own weight. Well, gist I'm getting from this is you go to the yokai world and you run into some hunky yokai and you hook up with one of them and uh, I'm imagining a choice comes up by the end of things as to whether you want to leave or stay behind what with the walking and the real world versus uh, your family, which you apparently hate, and so forth. Or maybe you're part yokai, that's also a possibility. But I don't want to think too deep. Sometimes with these visual novels, I go on and on and on. But looks like the demo's got a solid amount of content just from that intro. And it probably goes a little quicker when you're not reading it out loud. But yeah, that's Spirit Parade. And it's on itch.io. Uh, it will be in the info section and at the end. So should you want to go check it out, that is where you should go. Thanks for watching. Top vid's old, bottom vid's new. Everything else, pretty self-explanatory. Big button in the middle goes to my website. There's words there. Other stuff too. Check it out. Later.